Hi there, musicians. It's Miss Hendricks. Today we're going to learn about a music idea called pitch. Think. Sounds can be... When we listen to the world around us, we hear all kinds of different sounds. We use words to help us understand how the sounds were made and what they mean when we hear them. We hear sounds that are high and low, warm and thin, loud and soft, and lots of other words too. The two words we'll use to talk about sound today are high and low. These two words tell us the pitch of the sound or how high or how low the sounds are. Let's do a connection activity. We'll connect high and low with the objects that we see on the page. We'll organize these items into a high category with the blue stripe or a low category with the red stripe. Let's take a look at the car. Do you think the car would be a high item, something we would see high in the sky or something we would see low on the ground? A car is low, so we'll put it in the red stripe. What about a hot air balloon? Would that be a high item that we see in the sky or a low item that we see on the ground? It's a high item, so we'll put it in the blue stripe. What about our train right here? Would a train be an item we see high in the sky or an item we see low to the ground? It's a low item, so we'll put it in the red stripe. What about our boat? Is a boat something we see high in the sky or low on the ground? or in the water. It is a low item. We'll put it in the red stripe. What about an airplane? Is an airplane something we see high in the sky or low on the ground? We see it high in the sky. We'll put it up in the blue stripe with the hot air balloon. And our last item is our moth over here at the end. Is that an item we would see high in the sky or low to the ground? I'd say high in the sky. So we have three items high in the sky, a hot air balloon, an airplane, and a moth. And then the items that we see low to the ground are a car, a train, and a boat. Let's do our connection activity with the sounds that these animals make. For our first animal, we have a cat. Would a cat make a sound that is high or a sound that is low? A cat makes a meow sound, and that is a high sound. Our cow makes a moo sound, which is a big, low sound. So we'll put the cow in the red stripe for low sounds. We have a little bird. Do you think that bird is going to make a big low sound like a cow or a little sound like the cat? The bird is going to make a high sound, so let's put it in the blue stripe. Now what about this mouse? Is the mouse going to make a big low sound like the cow or is it going to make a small sound like the bird or the cat? It'll make a small, high sound, so let's put it in the blue stripe. Now what about this pair of lions? Do they look like they're going to make a teeny tiny sound like the house cat? Or a small little chirp like a bird? Or are they going to make a big, low sound like the cow? They'll make a big, low sound, so let's put them in the red stripe. And our last animal is a dog. This is a great big kind of dog. Do you think this dog will make a small bark or do you think he'll make a big woof? I think he'll make a big woof and that would be a low sound so we'll go ahead and put it 
on the red stripe with the rest of the animals that make a low sound. The animals that made a high sound were a cat and a bird and a mouse. And the animals that made a low sound were a cow, lions, and a dog. For the next activity, you can do this on your own. Can you make or imagine some high animal sounds? We have our cat friend. We see a bat. They make a squeaking sound. We see a monkey. They make a hoot sound. We see our bird and our mouse. Next, we see quite a few animals that make low sounds. We see a gorilla. They make a big low sound. We see a whale. They make sounds that are so low that some people can't hear them at all. We see a pig. They make some low winking sounds sometimes. We see another big dog that would make a big woof. And we see a bear. A bear makes a very low grumbly sound. Now we can see high and low on an instrument. The piano is a really special instrument because it has high notes and low notes. We see the low notes on the left side of the piano, the red arrow, and we see high notes on the right side of the piano with the blue arrow. We all carry an instrument with us that can make high and low sounds all the time. Can you guess what it might be? It's our voice. We can use our voices to make high and low sounds just like the piano and just like the famous opera singer Marian Anderson. Here's a picture of her singing some beautiful music. We are going to learn an opera warm up today. When we use our singing voice, we need to make sure it's ready to sing, just like when we stretch before we go for a run or when we stretch before we play games. Let's learn a famous warm up that helps lots of singers. We're going to make the shape with our voice. I'm going to take my finger out and I'm going to pretend to draw the line that we see. I'll start low with my finger and my voice will start low too. I'll do it one time for you and then I'd like for you to try it with me. Very good, let's try it together. Get your pointing finger out, see if you can trace the line and make the sound with your voice. Ready? Great job! We have two more to try together. I see a green line that looks kind of like a capital W. Let's try this one together. We'll start very high with our voice. Then our voice will go lower and then higher and then lower again and then higher all the way to the end. Let's try it out. Ready? Nice. Good job, guys. We're going to do one more. I see a red line that looks kind of like an M. Let's get started. Our voice will start low because the line starts low on the page. Let's get started. Nice work. On your own, can you invent your own high-low warm-up and draw your shape on the page? What are some high and low pitches you hear in the world around you? To review, 
A high sound can be called a high pitch, and a low sound can be called a low pitch. We can see high and low things in the world around us, and we can hear high and low sounds in the world around us too. Great job. I'll see you guys next time.